The iPhone 17 could have the one feature Android users still brag about. Android users, your days of comparing the iPhone to Android devices spec for spec are spec are numbered. Once Apple adopts more RAM and a higher refresh rate for its base model iPhone, it's over for anyone still playing bragging rights bingo. We are a day away from the start of a new year, typically when, quote, the next iPhone rumors start churning. The one making the most noise today currently has roots as far back as September of 2024 and claims the base iPhone 17 will have a screen with a higher refresh rate compared to iPhones past. Apple has used ProMotion or 120Hz displays since the iPhone 13 Pro. Since then, only the Pro models have offered a variation of ProMotion, with the iPhone 15 Pro being the first to adopt the always-on display. According to a leak on the Chinese social network Weibo, starting in the year 2025, all iPhone models will claim ProMotion screens, no longer limiting them to the higher price Pro variants. The leak comes from a previously cited leaker, Digital Chat Station, which also started the rumor that the iPhone 17 Pro would get a backside redesign. We'll see about that. This rumor is taking off because we heard it from display analyst Ross Young. The literal Apple supply chain leak offers rock solid sourcing and the best glimpse at what's to come. Apple is starting to pack more pro level features into its base model iPhone. This year it surprised us by including the dedicated camera control button on all iPhone 16 models. Apple typically launches new features like the dynamic island for pro users first. The company even made Apple intelligence available to those who choose the $802 camera iPhone 16 over the three camera $1,000 iPhone 16 Pro. This is why the rumor makes sense. The iPhone 17 adoption of a higher refresh rate would follow suit in this practice. If Apple adopts ProMotion across the board, that could be a boon for whatever is going on with the Pixel lineup, for instance. The Pixel 9 and Pixel 9 Pro have the same screen sizes, but their displays have apparent differences. The Pixel 9 Pro has a super actual display with a higher resolution and more pixels per square inch, a numbers game we used to play more of about 10 years ago, when all screens were smaller and a faster refresh rate when only flagship devices offered smooth operation. It'll be interesting to see how Apple does it. Will it follow the Pixel lineup and dial down the screen resolution and brightness to keep the battery going on the regular iPhone 17? Or will it adopt always-on display capabilities for both tiers to make iOS features like standby available to all? As long as Apple continues to upgrade their entry-level models with flagship specifications annually, we are finally creeping up on the day where Apple entry-level devices can eventually match entry-level Android devices spec for spec. We'll find out the answers soon enough. Speaking of entry-level devices, the iPhone C4 price just leaked and it's better than we expected. The iPhone C4 has been a highly anticipated choice for quite a while now and we expect it to release sometime in the first quarter of 2025. While we already know a lot about the iPhone C4, we have not been able to nail down a solid estimate on its price. Now we have, and it's music to potential consumers' ears. The iPhone C4 is predicted to come in below the $500 price point. Apple has been hard at work on its own custom Apple-built in-house modem. The iPhone C4 will be the first device to include that modem, according to our sources. Since Apple is providing its own modem, it won't need to pay Qualcomm a fee for its 5G chips. The exact amount Apple pays Qualcomm on a per-chip basis isn't known at the moment, but it should save Apple a significant amount of money on a per-device basis. The last generation of the iPhone C, the iPhone C3 started at $429. The iPhone C4 is expected to come with not only a size increase, but also a dramatic spec bump. Since the device will be immensely more capable than its predecessor, a small price bump was expected. The inclusion of Apple's own modem could bring prices down, and according to our sources, that should help keep the iPhone C4 priced under $500. It will likely cost more than the $429 iPhone SE we have today. But if the new C has all the rumored design and spec upgrades we have previously discussed, the slight price hike will be well worth it. The iPhone C4 looks to be less of a downgrade in terms of power and size and closely resembles the iPhone 14 in design. The cameras won't be as powerful as those of the iPhone 16 Pro Max, but they'll still bring a lot of detail. The handset is rumored to get a 48MP rear camera and a 12MP front camera. It should also come with Face ID, so the iPhone will officially be done with the home button. The iPhone Say has always been a budget-friendly device, but it's come with bigger sacrifices in the past. Current rumors give the iPhone C4 a March release date to coincide with Apple's spring event. For now, that's the best estimate we have on a release window.
Now, we move on to the iPhone's biggest competition. The Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra benchmark scores reportedly leaked today, and here is how they stack up to Apple's flagship device, the iPhone 16 Pro Max. We cannot blame you if you are eagerly anticipating the Galaxy S25 Ultra launch in a few weeks, as it could end up being one of the best phones available for the year of 2025. However, a new set of benchmarks results have surfaced, and they do not look good, nor nearly as promising as the previous S25 Ultra benchmark leaks we observed a few months ago. The last set of S25 Ultra benchmark leaks blew the iPhone 16 Pro Max out of the water. Tech for Socials posted the benchmark scores on X on December 31st, showing lackluster numbers. In the single-core test, the Galaxy S25 Ultra scored 3,049 points. In the multi-core test, it only had accumulated 9,793 points. The last batch of benchmarks for the Galaxy S25 Ultra were considerably better, with 3,148 single-core points and 10,236 multi-core points. Here's a look at how the current benchmark compares to the previous one, as well as the iPhone 16 Pro Max and Galaxy S24 Ultra. As you can see in the table shown, the Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra benchmark was lower in the most recent test, despite using the same Snapdragon 8 Elite chip. However, what's surprising is the clock score of the chip in this test. The Snapdragon 8 Elite has a 4.32 GHz clock speed based on previous Geekbench tests, but the one in this benchmark is clocked at 4.47 GHz for the primary cores. It's odd that, despite what appears to be an overclocked processor, we saw worse numbers than last time. This test could just be an anomaly. If it were rerun, the results could be better. Suboptimal overclocking could also be affecting the Qualcomm chip's performance. Another thing to note from this benchmark is that the Galaxy S25 Ultra had 12 GB of RAM, so it doesn't look like Samsung will offer 16 GB in all Ultra phone versions. Even if these newer lower numbers were accurate, the multi-core score would handily beat the iPhone 16 Pro Max. And both scores would be marked as an improvement over the last generation Galaxy S24 Ultra. It's worth remembering that benchmark tests and benchmark scores are not the only thing that matters for performance and overall usability of a given device. Optimization is just as important. Battery life is another consideration. Phone companies and manufacturers sometimes cut performance to squeeze extra battery life from a device, do these recent benchmark scores represent the final product from Samsung as we are only weeks away from the S25 series launch? Or is Samsung still tweaking the device, trying to find a sweet spot so to speak between power, performance and most of all efficiently? Only time will tell. What do you think the low test results are a result of? Other notable rumored upgrades for the Galaxy S25 Ultra include a more rounded design, a larger 6.9-inch display and a more powerful 50MP ultra-wide camera. It could also offer a second generation of wireless magnetic charging. Subscribe to our channel to get notified for all Galaxy S25 Ultra rumors as well as updates and leaks. Thank you for your time and have a great rest of the day.